Welcome to Peaceful Streaming. So I'm continuing on my um, flip of the, um, what am I trying to say? The a new player in town office, you know, floor of one office building. So last time I was working on the conference room and, oops, there, let's move that out of the way. Um, and the problem I ran into is I really wanted glass walls and there weren't any. Um, hang on. So I looked in the Steam Workshop and there is a glass wall. Actually, there are two different kinds. Actually, there may be more, but I just used one. Um, so I'm going to try those out and see. I'm not sure how the door situation works. So I guess we will see. Um, I'm hopeful. I should probably just try it on. I should probably just try one wall before taking everything down. That might make sense. Um, okay, so... This is the one that looks like it's clear. Now, okay, so right away we're having a problem because this is not exactly, well, that is really pretty. That's not exactly what I was thinking, but on the other hand, I really like it. So let's see what the other one looks like. The other one looks darker. Um, so this is a different type of, I mean, I was thinking, I mean, I really like this and I'll definitely use it. I was thinking of a glass wall, if you know what I mean. The problem is that, um, the, the base of this, if you look at it, you can see that it it is fine on one end but the the other end is rounded so that doesn't really work for what i want to do um so i'm not really sure what to do because i do want to use it um i wonder if these by any chance can slide together that's probably not possible oh my god okay so obviously i want to do two of the same kind so, um, you move out of the way. So I'm going to get rid of this one and see, uh, right. So this is one column I built. And then the other, I think is one we can't remove if I'm right. So I think I should paint it first because I have no idea what's going to happen as far as accessibility afterward. Okay, so um, <coughs> let's see. So I would start this way. Um, I mean, that goes almost all the way up. And because we needed the walls basically for sound control. Now, here's, here's the problem, of course, is actually come to think of it the door situation. So first I need to build a lintel, put a door in and then slide. Well, why am I going here? Oh, this is the other thing. I don't know what this is. Okay. That's kind of what I thought it was. It doesn't. And again, I do not like to say anything negative about workshop stuff. Um, but it doesn't exactly have the qualities of glass blocks that I would imagine. So, um, uh, good try. And I'm sure it works for some people, just not for me. So, um, okay. So let's put, there actually was also a glass door that I ran into when I was, when I did my search for glass, I'm pretty sure. Um, so these actually, so for instance, these other ones you would think would work, but they're not tall enough. Um, the amount of a glass shower wall, and this is, is the same thing with this one. So this just, 
that one's tall. But, okay, let's just see if I'm wrong. Well, okay, so I'm wrong. <sighs> That's weird. So, um, I do like this, and I'm going to use it elsewhere because I think it's awesome. But for this particular room, so, oh, see, this is where we run into the problem is with the hinges. I think it's just aesthetic, but what do you do when you get to the next one? That's, that's the problem. What does it look like? I guess we'll find out. And if it looks crappy, then I will go with back to that. So glass door. Um, and actually I should probably build a, oh God, it keeps, let's see. Glass vase, glass sauna door. I, okay, glass door, <laughs> which is really hard to see. Um, am I like imagining? I can see it over there. Why is it over there? Um, maybe it's looking for an actual, so I, maybe I should try putting another column in. Uh, I can't remember. Is it three? Three lintels and one column. Is that too big? I have too much stuff in my way here. Um, is that the right size? I think so. So let's see if this works for the glass door. It's looking for, what is it looking for? I really need to get rid of some of this stuff or move it out of the way. This is stuff that I like but did not work for the room I was in. Um, I'm not going to use this one. Uh, that I don't like as much on second glance, at least not for what I'm doing. Okay. So where, where is that, <clears throat> where is that door trying to go? <clears throat> it was like it was over here or something. It's, where is it now? <laughs> uh, I see it. It's not a glass door, at least not what I was thinking of. Okay, so <clears throat> that's too bad. I guess we have to use some kind of conventional door. Um, I have no idea what, but okay. So let's try this and see. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I do seem to have some kind of worse than usual um, cold or allergy throat or something like that so I think I've been out of Sudafed for a week come to think of it which might explain the problem it's gotten so complicated because of people making meth with whatever that ingredient is in Sudafed so people like me who need to take it every day it's like trying to get some it's just really difficult and our health insurance stopped paying for it as a prescription which because and that was very useful because instead of like having to remember oh we have to go to oops I didn't mean to do that we have to go to this place to get the Sudafed and then in two weeks we can go to that place which makes us sound like we are using it to cook math um, it's just uh, for, for someone who has who has an actual problem and needs Sudafed on a regular basis, it's, it's very, it's very, um, inconvenient to put it mildly. Um, I don't think I have to move the stuff. Maybe what I did is, or maybe what I have to do is, um, just do, do the floor a little further. <clears throat> So I have my tea. I should probably put honey in it, but the problem is I don't like the taste of honey a lot of the time. So, so much for that. I could do whiskey, I suppose, but since I am working before and, or after this stream, then I don't suppose that would um, go over too well. Let's see. 
Okay, so, um, and this one's in my way. I love this one. I may not be able to use it at all in this space, in this office thing. Um, okay, so uh, now I have to find the, the not the glass door, the other thing. So this, what was that? Oh my God, now I'm gonna, it was a glass shower wall. I think it was this one. So what if, oh, wow. <clears throat> so if I put them together, <clears throat> gotta tell my husband I need some Sudafed. Uh, see, that's the problem. I mean, that looks bad. <clears throat> and I believe that's probably going to be the case with all the shower walls. Um, and this one. So this one actually. So that's probably what this is based on. Okay, so. So it, I think it's just a matter of. Although maybe uh, I, I could be misspeaking. This might be from the workshop also. Um, so I think for this, I'm going to use the plain one and then I will use the etched ones, which are really beautiful. I definitely encourage you to check them out, um, on, um, do I want dark or do I want light? I think I want the light. If my husband comes this way, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute for about ten seconds and tell him that I really need Sudafed because this is problem is what what happens is that it can go into a sinus infection. I think I had mentioned on one of the videos that an ear, nose, and throat doctor had told me that. Um, I had like three different, I have three different defects, <clears throat> structural defects in my, um, oh, this is going to, I'm going to have to shoot, um, in my, um, what door am I going to use? In my face that caused the problems with my sinuses. So, uh, I could get them surgically fixed. Um, I think she said something to the effect that uh, that was not necessarily going to be successful, unless I'm thinking of my herniated discs. I don't know. Maybe it was that. But um, that would not be my first choice to have surgery, to be honest. Um... Okay, um, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. And actually, I was thinking I couldn't do it on that wall, but I can actually um, do, do it on some of it. How did I end up with one stripe there? Did I do a different color paint? I must have. Is this, is this the color I used in there? It doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, and of course, you know what's going to happen if... This isn't the right one. I have no idea what the other one is. Okay, so that is the right one. Um, I would have no idea how to match it because I, I'd have to I'd have to try some because I can never remember what I used. I suppose maybe I should start start writing stuff down. <clears throat> um, there, you go there. Um, so let's. Get rid of that. Um, I hope I can actually... Because that's the smallest projection screen. I can't go one any smaller than that. Okay, so I can do one more column without any problem. Go away. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, I'll have to rebuild it further out. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so, um, so that could be. 
I could be unsuccessful. It's possible. Um, either way, I am going to rebuild that wall out because um, uh, what am I trying to say? Actually, I can do another. Um, I guess I can't just move this um, because I do like I do want the um, this wall to go all the way to the end of that line. And I'm not sure if I mentioned in this stream in the last one, but um, um, there are some really great Eames chairs in um, in the workshop. Someone did them in black, dark brown, and cream. And it actually looks like a cream color, I think, as opposed to what the game devs <laughs> call cream, which I just don't generally agree with. Um, so, I mean, it's, there's this kind of like, and again, I hate to be critical, but honestly, there's looks like kind of a dirty cream. I, 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 <laughs> I know there's not such a thing, but if you know what I mean, it just, um, I think they have some texture issues in their stuff. Um, let's see. Damn, I knew I was really sick this morning because I was dozing off when I was working. And that only happens when I don't tend to doze off during the day. So when it happens, I know that I'm sick, which kind of sucks. Um, okay. So I'm going to move this here. Now, the problem I'm, I'm going to run into is I don't know if... This will neatly, as far as columns going across, neatly fit. That, that's my issue. Um, so, because unless I'm wrong, I could be wrong. Maybe you can put, maybe you can hang something on these walls. Person may have said so. And of course, here we have again, it doesn't quite. But honestly, I'm not really sure what to do about that. Um, try building columns and see if by any chance the right number of them fits. Well, first of all, it doesn't like that. So there's always going to be a gap. So that's kind of disappointing. But And okay, so it does more or less. Um, Kind of sucks though. Could I fit another one? Did I try actually? No, I can't remember. Did I actually try to like do it all the way to the end? I did, didn't I? And the problem was, okay. So, so I guess the question is now, can I hang a projection screen on one of these? Um, <laughs> it doesn't seem to want to do that. Um, hello, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So what I was also thinking, what if I put them like this, if I'm really lucky, then they actually will have a snugger fit at the end of the wall. I mean, at the end, uh, on the solid wall. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be lucky. In fact, I think it's actually gonna be worse. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put those back. Um, I'm just gonna have to accept, I think, that I can't get perfection with um with this just not gonna happen um i 
I could just build the regular wall. I could do that. Um, I really wanted to be able to. My guess is that I won't get the columns to work out perfectly at the end if I do it like partial, oops, partial um, glass wall. And maybe that, that might just look stupid anyway. So, I mean, it's possible I should give it a shot. Oh, see, that's the, that's one of the problems. Okay. So honestly, I would rather, I would rather have this at the end. Um, and just leave it like that. So um, now we have the door issue. Um, I think it looks cool. Oh, right. Except for the one thing I didn't look, I didn't see if we could put a projector on. Well, crud. Electronic equipment. There we go. No. Well, I guess that's probably hard to do with this thing. Well, crud again, once again. So I'm going to have to build that partially out of actual wall. So I think I'll only be able to have like one glass wall. So I don't know, that might end up looking stupid. Oops, I forgot. Um, is this the right, I'm like, I mean, there is still a gap. I wonder if I can slide it. No, it seems to have a problem with it. Come to think of it, that's right. Um, oh, it doesn't like, it doesn't work on either side. Well, Oh, uh, man. Okay. Um, I think I have to give up on this side being a glass wall. It may not, and this may not be any better when I build this, but I think it looks less stupid to have the whole wall. Oh, frick. Now, why did I do this here? Okay, so this is not, okay. Oh, yep. Um, yeah, we're we're having our twenty-five to 30, 30 minute free uh, hang. Excuse me, I'm drinking some tea without honey. So I'm gonna take that, move that sideboard. I may have to just, I may have to expand the whole room. Another, I think I should expand it another column. Um, to, um, to accommodate that sideboard. Hey, I have a vision and I really want to stick by that vision. I wonder if I throw some of this candy ginger in there and the tea, how that would be. Probably not good. Um, that's all just chew on a piece. Excuse me again for eating. Account balance 412,550. Now I would say, well, once I sell this and also do the moon thing, then I'll have plenty of money. But once I finish the flip of the Forgotten Heritage House, um, the moon and this, and flip them just for fun, see how much they 
actually make. I am going to start House Flipper over. Um, and, um, huh, that's interesting. Um, and I'm going to take my time this time because I just kind of rushed through it. Uh, because I always wanted to see what was next. So this time I'm not going to rush through it. I'm going to do a really good job on all the stuff. So I can't believe it, but that actually, now of course I'm probably going to have trouble with the door. Okay, so I need to do the floor and that. So what am I getting? Can build five walls at once. I don't, I don't really see myself caring about that, to be honest. I have enough trouble managing one of them. Okay, so floor panels. Okay, and how am I doing? Okay. And I think, see now I can't tell where the wall ends. Yeah, so I have to, I do have to do the floor under those. Just because you can kind of see beyond them, I think. Maybe not, but okay. So, um, um, paint. Did I put it back out here? Yeah. And I did put up one of my photos. Um, mainly because I thought that it did, it went well with, okay, well, maybe there's some vanity there, but I thought it did go well with the, um, with the color of the rug. Um, that's actually why I picked that one and not the Stinson Beach one. Is this a, why does that look like a different color? Please don't tell me it is. Shoot. But why did it look like the right color before? Okay, something's off here because that looked right before. What about this? Is this, it looks like the same color here. So what's the deal? Okay, let's see if by any chance that, is this like, it's, it's lighting or it's a reflection of something, okay. It has to be because I'm trying to paint it and nothing's happening. That's very strange though. Okay. So I had my puzzlement for the day. Um, okay. So then this has to be moved because it is no longer. I don't have a hand. Oh, I guess I don't have a hand. Okay. It's no, it was no longer in the middle of the room. And then this has to be moved over here for essentially the same type of reason. Uh, now it's not. Okay. And since I'm imagining this company is in San Francisco, then having the San Francisco skyline is perfectly appropriate. And now it doesn't. Now it's too far. Um, okay, so now we just have the door problem. And actually now this is all going to be off. So I'm going to put the screen up, which I believe I can do now small um and then i'm gonna reline this stuff up because it's off now i would assume it should be the projector should be oh now everything's off well that's what happens when you make the room bigger that does happen Okay, so that should be there. And I should actually move <laughs> the table and chairs. Okay, so it's not that big a deal. I'm not gonna make a fuss out of it. Remember, oh shoot, what I did last time is I moved, am I gonna have to move the rug? Oh crud, that is a problem. Cause last time I think I moved I moved everything off of it. 
because it is such a problem to try to settle it. I am not going to, I'm not going to agonize over that because I just think that's really boring to watch. So forget it. We're not doing it. Um, if I'm, if I'm bored later on off stream, <laughs> um, then I will, um, then I will do it. Generally not bored. I've got a lot to do. Now these chairs, why do these look like they're so much in the way when they didn't before? Did I move this over too far? Oh. Wait. So this... So that's the middle of the room. Okay, so that's all set. So now these chairs actually, since there's more room over here, do not ask me how that happened because... In theory, that screen should be in the middle of the wall. I don't know. There are certain things I don't get too worked up about. Um, yeah, 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 I know. So then that looks nice with, with the, the extra room over here. Um, what am I missing? The other light for one thing. And I think, I think they both need to be lined up. Okay. Um, so now really the only thing is figuring out what kind of door to put on this. Now we do have some serious limitations with the the default doors that are included and I'm not sure I oh, I wish I could use a sliding one I don't think it'll work with the glass wall wow that is cool um okay so I'm just gonna have to pick one that looks fairly cool um and that is it oh that looks a little First of all, I think that's too wide. Is that a normal size door? I don't think it is. It, that it, I didn't realize how much like a prison thing it looked. Oh, please do not tell me that I do not have a door skinny enough. So this this would work because I think this is narrow. I hope it fits in there. Oops. Um. No. Um, this is a light room, but it's like a, yeah, that's more the color. Um, so I will be sad if it doesn't. It has to, because after all, this is, this is a standard, these are th like standard walls and lintel. Okay, so there we go. So it does work. Yay, we actually have a door for the conference room. So the conference room is done. I know you're probably thinking about time. Um, let's do the bathrooms. <laughs> um, because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do next as far as the living areas. I don't really consider a bathroom a living area. So um, we're not going to do, we're going to do just the really cool stuff, obviously. Um, I may need to choose the, what do you call it? The installments first. Um, so I kind of need light, to be honest. Um, so obviously no showers. Although if I have a fitness area, I'll probably have a small couple of stalls or something like that. Like that would be cool. Can you imagine how cool that would be? But it's a little too intimate for most workplaces. I would say, um, the Denton shower. That's the one that goes in the hacker loft. That is really cool. Uh, named after the guy from, um, uh, sex. Um, this is nice. I like this. I don't like the color on top. It's too orange. Cottonwood. That's a little orange too. Teak. Soft maple, I like that a lot. 
Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and I can't put it up, of course. Um, okay, so let's move this thing. First of all, that's boring. I don't think we're going to keep that. I would assume I'll be able to put two of those up, but I may have to move. I can't move them. Why am I saying move? Um, so let me see what it looks when I put one of them up. Well, the important thing is, can I fit one over there? Yes, I can. Okay. And the next important thing is, can I fit one next to it? And yes, I can, but it blocks that door. Of course it does, because that would be too easy. Um, what about... What about if I put one here and then one there? Uh, it may not work, but I guess we'll see. Uh, installation. So sink. Uh, sink plumbing system. Okay. Now. You like it there. You do. Um, now I'm remembering to unscrew. <laughs> I have forgotten in the past and been really annoyed because I couldn't fit a um please tell me it's kept my colors it didn't please tell me this is no um and because I couldn't put the thing on and I was really annoyed and I was like what is wrong with this shower yes I was a little dense so now it's possible that the other one is just is is that gonna fit like right there it won't Oh man, I like these so much. I just can't do it. Um, and you have to, in, in a bathroom like this, you have to be able to have two sinks. You really do. Like, I'm sad. Um, okay, so we have to look for something else. I'm really bummed. Um... See, insulations, that's, that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for basically furniture in the bathroom. Uh, right? Wrong. So it is an insulation. I swear to God, please stop making this difficult. My brain is beginning to like say no more. Um... So that's this one. Is this one as wide? It probably is, isn't it? Man. Is there a, a double? Is there something set up already as a double sink? No. Oh, come on. Seriously, I cannot get are There aren't any really cool sinks. That's a kitchen sink. I, I know it doesn't matter. If it was cool enough, I wouldn't care. Um, that's, no, that's clearly a kitchen sink because it doesn't have extra. Is this really all I have as far as sink? No, it's taking me back to recently viewed. Um, okay. So that's the vampire castle one. Why do you... Okay. So I think I'm going to go with one of these. Okay. So that's unnecessarily wide. This one might work does it have a nice wood gray wood eh, cool ash um if i'm going for like an industrial look yeah that would be cool um metal white lights um who says i'm not i mean i could be going for an industrial look so let's get a sink installation in here I could be going for an industrial look in the bathroom, but just the bathroom. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, come on. Okay, so that can't be any closer than that. Um, let's just put the other one in and cross our fingers. Industrial design bathroom. 
Now nah, let's do let's let's say we're going for the um, Swedish white and pale wood look and stuff. Or what was that that painter? My mom loves him. Got his name. We used to have a ton of stuff by him. Okay, so it works. So I probably should go put these in the other bathroom so that um, it's, it's like all my choices are there and everything already. Crud, I'm getting worse. I've, I've had these allergies since I was a kid. Like our whole family has bad allergies. And um, I got so many ear infections when I was a kid that um, I guess we'll have urinals. Um, I, as a woman, I don't really see the purpose of it other than the fact that you don't then need to use um, uh, a stall. But sure. Let's give the guys their urinals. Um, yeah, a doctor once said to me, um, so you, you, you have an ear infection, like when I was an adult, young adult, you have an ear infection. And I was like, really? I didn't, I didn't realize my ears haven't been hurting and those are like way too far on the side. And he was like, um, yeah, the problem is you have so much scar tissue from previous ear infections. Well, there's dirt where's the dirt um, that you can't feel the, um, the pain from the ear infection that you're having now anymore. I was like, wow, that's great. Um, isn't that <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. Yeah. That about sounds right. <laughs> that sounds like my life. Um, and I, and I didn't even have as many health problems as I do now. And I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so, uh, so it's a little dangerous because I can't tell when I have an ear infection. Luckily, I can seem to get rid of those by, um, by, um, putting a heating pad on that side of my head for like, uh, oh, I have to unscrew these. Yeah. Did I just actually put those right next to each other? I didn't. How did that happen? I didn't mean to do that. Um, anyway, yeah, I can get rid of the ear infections usually by putting a heating pad on that side of my head for a while. So, um, so uh, sinus infections, I it's possible I could get rid of them the same way, but the problem is uh, you really don't want to put the thing up to your face. I was trying to see if I could see how much room I have, but it doesn't want to let me do that. So you know what I mean? I mean, you really don't do not want the, the heating pad. Like I, when I do it for my ear, it's it's serious. It's a serious high temperature because um, that's what it seems to need. So but you wouldn't want to do that with your face. Not to mention you wouldn't be able to breathe. So um I'm kind of out of luck with those. So I have to do this nasal flushing. Now, I feel very, actually very lucky that I ran across this, so I'm not complaining. Um, but it, it definitely has saved me from taking antibiotic after antibiotic, which as we know, especially given that we have a global pandemic, is not a desirable thing to do in case we get some kind of virus that can only be eradicated by a certain type of antibiotic and you've taken so much out of, of it already that like i forget what it is like your body is i know i'm not making sense because i'm um it's not that i lost my train of thought i'm trying to figure out how where how exactly that does your body get used to the antibiotic and it doesn't work anymore? 
It must because it's very specific to you. Unless, okay, anyway. That's one of those things that I tend to I tend to go off on these little tangents. Um, okay, so that looks pretty even. I'm going to go back and So this is the, the, the women's room. Uh, those who identify as female. I am not going to go... I'm not going to do them the men's and women's room differently. Oh, there was a dirty spot. Is that it? It looks pretty dirty, doesn't it? Yeah. Um. So, but I was kind of hoping we had a cool, some cool toilets that I can put in here. Does it actually show that? That's just the installations. Where is the other stuff? Bathroom fixtures. Okay. Toilets. Narrow it down. Um, I think those urinals are kind of nicer looking, so I'm going to put them in there. I mean, not being a guy, I don't know if there's any negative or positive aspects of that. I assume it works just as well as the others. Um, well, unlike The Sims, there aren't any really cool toilets. So... Um, and being a relatively tall woman, I think I would like to stick with the standard ones because the other ones look really short. You know how uncomfortable it is <laughs> when you're a woman using a um, public toilet because like even in the buildings I work at, at Cal, it's, um, it's there, they were put in like decades ago and people must have been much shorter because uh, it's, it's very hard for me to sit down on them, which I, I, I know sounds like too much information, but it's the same thing with it. like chairs, some chairs and stuff. I'm, I'm only five, seven, but for a woman, I'm fairly relatively tall. So yeah, it's, um, it's not good. Um, so now comes the fun part. We get to pick the wall tiles. Actually, you know what? It's not a bad idea to do a different look in the men's room than the women's. In case someone accidentally, it, this does happen. In case someone accidentally goes in the wrong door. I mean, there could be someone who's visiting. Um, and as much as I know that we should not be going pink and blue, uh, those are visual cues, unless that's just in the United States. Hmm. That could be a problem. I don't know if pink and blue in other countries are in other continents. Shoot. Okay. I've got to, I've got to check this because, okay. So pink and blue for... Babies um, outside the United States. Um, okay, list of historical sources. Okay, apparently this is, oh, Wikipedia says that since at least the 19th century, the colors pink and blue have been used as gender signifiers. Okay, so then the, I assume... Uh, well, I mean, shoot. You know, in the U.S., most have found that babies and toddlers. Okay, so this is blah, 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 primary colors. Um, I, I'm going to just possibly be an ugly American and just say that I'm going to go with a pink and blue and hope that it's a, a widespread idea outside the United States and... If someone can tell me it's not, then I will definitely go in and change it. Um, but I would like to use the same tile or similar tile. Uh, and actually, I don't think we have pink. So I don't know why I'm even going so far down this road. I just would like, I mean, we have, so we have this. That is pink. I hate doing this. I I, I really do. But um you do have to think about um, helping visitors who don't speak English. 
and I assume I, I understand the signs that they have are fairly clear, but um, I don't know. I like to that and those are my least favorite tiles and they have to be the only ones that are pink. Are you kidding me? <sighs> They're too big. They're just so huge. I don't like them. And this is red. Man. So these are pink, obviously. And then they also come in, well, that's the snowy marble. They don't come in blue. Well, there's blue tiles. That's really blue. Man, that's like um small turquoise. Do we have a small beige? Uh, beige. I'm not sure if that really does it. Shoot. Well, I think what I'm going to have to do is look in the steam store. Oh, uh, I mean the workshop and see if I can find. So like, I would love this, but it doesn't have pink or rose or anything approaching pink. So, so anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I got a little less done than I wanted to, but, um, there's my wonderful glass walled conference room that I'm very happy about. I may, what is that bright? Oh my God, that's bright. Um, I was like, why does that door look so much lighter than I thought it was? Um, so, uh, anyway, and I don't know the name of the person who did these etched glass walls, but I believe I'm going to see if, if I can actually do a collection. I can actually, I can do a collection of everything I used. And, um, in case people, I, I want to give credit to the, to the people who did this stuff. So, um, I, my, you know, my steam name is peaceful streaming. So, um, it's pretty easy to find, but, um, and then I will, um, you know, then I will feel like I, at least I'm giving some credit to people because they, they, some people do these just amazing, amazing jobs. So, um, anyway, to anyone who's been watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And obviously the same to anyone watching the VOD. And I am so excited that people are watching these because... <laughs> Honestly, there's someone who doesn't like them. There's, or maybe they don't like me. I don't know, but they downvoted, um, like two of these, uh, open plan office things. So I don't know if it's cause I referred to Google as an inspiration or whether, um, uh, you know, I was just doing something they didn't like, or I don't know what, but I was like, dude, at least tell me why. Cause that's the thing. It's like, okay, well, I have no problem with you criticizing it. I just would like to improve it. Maybe you could have a completely valid point. So just leave a comment, but a lot of people don't seem to want to do that. So anyway, to everyone, thanks for watching so much. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.